Do you have an old tool that kind of works but could be better? Well, so do I. In this video, I'll show you how I'm going to fix up this old combination square. I got this old combination square from my uncle many years ago, and while it's functional, the rust on the ruler makes it not the best to use or look, so I decided to pretty it up. First step is to take it apart, which is pretty easy. You just unscrew the tension spring and slide out the ruler. Next, I grabbed a large enough plastic container and got some non-toxic rust remover. I chose this blaster metal remover bath stuff because it's really gentle on metals and removes the rust pretty well, and plus, you can reuse it as long as the performance holds up. Then I just dropped the ruler in and let it do its thing. While that was going, I took some 4 odd steel wool and shined up the other bare metal parts on the square. I wasn't worried about it affecting square because it's only taking off a micro amount of metal. I'm going to repaint the body, so I took a wire brush and ran it over the painted area so the new paint would adhere well. Next, I taped off the level indicator so paint wouldn't get on there, and off camera I taped off the other metal faces of the square too. I started by laying down a base coat of flat black and then went over it with a bright yellow spray paint. And the scientific reason behind the color I picked is... I just thought it would make me smile whenever I looked at it. So there. After about an hour or so, I took out the ruler, dried it thoroughly, and saved the rust remover that was left. As you can see, it got a good amount of the rust off, so now all I have to do is give it a quick polish with the 4 odd steel wool. I wanted the paint job on the body to have a little more depth, so I decided to add this color shift acrylic paint, but slightly darker. In retrospect, I would have just added the yellow by itself, but oh well. No harm, no foul. To make the ruler easier to read, I painted some black acrylic paint over the tick marks and wiped off the excess with a paper towel so it would just fill the grooves. And this worked great to make them more visible and easier to read. Once that was done, it's time to peel off the tape and put it all back together. Thanks for watching, and if you're new here and like what you see, consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. And also, I'll leave a link down below with all the materials that I use for this build. I want to thank all my patrons that helped make all this possible, including top tier patron Steve Huber, Marion Ward, and Corey Wall. You guys rock. Thanks again for watching, and take care.